There's lots of type of campers. There's ones that like to take RV trailers, RVs, and then there's the minimalists that like to just show up with their truck, and in some cases have it not even level to the bed. They take the bare essentials. Both are great as far as I'm concerned. Whatever makes you happy, that's what's important. Me, I kind of fall, I don't want to say in the middle, because I don't tow an RV, but I do tow a box trailer. Uh, and I do put a fair amount of stuff in there. Camping styles really aren't the premise of this video, but when you're out in the woods and you're dispersed camping, there isn't a vault toilet, there's not a flushing toilet, there's not a sink to wash your hands, all those things. So far, my best solution for that, I'm gonna show you right now. Let's get started. First things first. Where's the flattest ground you can find? In this case, I kind of brought everything in from this tree line. So you got a little bit more privacy. It's not quite so obvious when people happen to pull in. Uh, when you're sitting in camp, it's not so obvious to see it. When you're using the bathroom, you don't feel like you're being stared at, all those kinds of things. So I found this little spot right here that is pretty flat. So I'm gonna try this one out. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of some of the twigs branches and whatnot. Some of those are still alive, so we'll these are still alive, so we're gonna move a little bit here. Here we go. I don't know what variety those are, but they're some sort of tree and they do appear to be alive, so I don't want to damage them. After I cleared off the last spot, I discovered there were some live little saplings and I didn't want to hurt those. So I moved over and this spot is not quite as level, but there's not the saplings that I might injure or destroy. So I brought a post hole digger. This allows you to dig a hole, I guess uh, six or eight inches, I haven't measured it, uh, but really deep. So what you can basically do is make your own vault toilet, if you will. Let me show you how that works. In an effort to speed this up, I'll speed the film up so you don't have to watch the entire thing as I do this, because it takes a little bit of time. Then of course you get almost halfway to rock. So I'm gonna fill this one back in and we're gonna search for the spot. So I moved about four feet up from the last spot and we'll see what this one digs like again. I don't see any saplings growing through the ground. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and dig this spot and let's see what we find.
one of the things you'll notice is I'm keeping the dirt right around the perimeter because each time you use the bathroom you can kick in a little bit of dirt keeps the flies off now the deeper I go the more times this can be used not entirely sure in perfect conditions how deep this can go say 18 maybe 24 inches I'm going to keep going deep enough until I hit rock or some sort of root. Don't damage the roots, that's bad. Or I can't spread the handles apart far enough to close the shovel action to bring any more dirt up. But again, the deeper you go, the more times it can be used. Alright. I've hit rock. I can't really spread these open enough to grab much dirt, so... I'm gonna call this part good. Show you the next step. Hold on. So this hole looks like it's right around 18 inches. Uh, next step is something to sit on. I've had my days of hugging a tree, and squatting over a hole. I'm past those days. I'm too young for that. So here's my solution. This is a proof of concept chair, which I'm sure you have all seen. Um, but ultimately, I'd like one that folds up because this is fairly bulky. It doesn't fold up but it's still got a seat. Nice little mountain money holder, which is getting kind of squished, it doesn't roll so good. But this is great, but it's not very private. Wanted to demonstrate one more thing before I cover it with the uh, privacy, if you will. Uh, once I do that, it's gonna be a tight space and you might not be able to see as well, but basically I find myself a stick with two completely different ends. This one's good because it's got uh, an edge on it which makes it a great way to pull the dirt in. So each time you you know do your business you can use this to pull a little bit of dirt in and I'll use enough dirt to completely cover the waste in there so the flies can't get to it. And I'll only go to about halfway on this hole though and fill it back up because there are regulations on how the minimum depth this hole has to be and you should always check your regulations because every area, every state, county, whatever they're all different so in this particular location it's uh, eight inches. So I know that if I'm 18 inches down, hypothetically, because I haven't measured it, I know that I have uh, at least eight inches, maybe 10, of you know, buildable waste space, if you will. So again, the handle will always be grabbed from the same side. I mean, granted, it's not scooping human waste, it's just moving dirt, but anything to keep your hands clean when you're out here, because water is precious. So you can use it to pull in what you need to cover it up. At this point, let's add some privacy. All these branches, they make it kind of hard to make this stand up before I assemble it, but this is a shower tent that I bought off Amazon. Simply put, I've centered it over this whole mechanism, if you will. Maybe come a little further forward so you can put your feet in front of here. Um, in this instance, I'm with my wife, so I'm not too worried about privacy, but if I was, this door does unclip through these little clasps and zips completely shut in that with that in mind no one could see you so now i've got all four corners staked down not really gonna go not really gonna go anywhere it might blow around a little bit but it's not gonna go anywhere nifty little doors if you want to peek out this side has a little soap holder if it were I was using it as a shower but I'm not in that case that's where the spare mountain money goes there's nothing worse than running out halfway through the job if I wanted to I could undo these here
For the most part, I'm going to keep it up. And again, it's just the wife and I, so I'm not as worried about privacy. And you all are not here to watch this video of a talking tent. So at this point, the last thing to do is make it easier to get in here, find some sort of pathway uh, with the least amount of branches. I don't want to cut any. You don't want to be trekking through and having branches smack you in the face and whatnot. So the next thing again is to find a pathway into here. But this isn't too bad. I'm level, I'm flat, I'm not hugging a tree, I'm not squatting over a hole. I'd rather work a little bit harder so that those times it's like, you know, I don't have a whole lot of time. I don't really want to dig a hole. I can just come in here and do my thing. So I had mentioned access. I kind of folded these branches back. I did not cut a single one of them. And then I noticed that if I come down, walk around, I can exit out. This way I have quite a bit of girth, no problems at all. One camping hack, if you'll buy that. If you're out with people who aren't very experienced with the woods, don't know their way around or don't feel comfortable, a good way to lead them back here, because camp is 100 yards that way, uh, glow sticks. With that said though, don't bury those. Those are not the kind of waste that is appropriate to stick in the dirt and just leave. Uh, no ostrich theory, just because you can't see it, it is still there. So again, the next morning, what I'll do is come through, cut each string, take all the string, take each, glow, take each glow stick back with me and throw them in the trash and then haul them home with me. Get the glow sticks that come in like a six pack. They generally have a string that come with them and tie one to the, each tree as you go along. So even from all the way over there, they can see those glow sticks and they know which way to head. And then once they come through here, they know which way to go where they're not going to be walking into, you know, uh, small sapling trees or more branches because there's nothing worse than having a branch smack you in the face on the way through. This is how I sit at my bathroom. No, oh, there is one more thing I almost forgot. So one of the things I do keep in here is a bottle of hand sanitizer. So when you're finished, one thing I want to mention, baby wipes. They may seem great, they may be comfortable and make you very clean, but they don't biodegrade. Well, they might, but nowhere near as fast as toilet paper does. So, uh, don't use these. If you want to use these, I have used these in the past and squirted a little bit of the sanitizer on one and used it to wipe my hands down as I'm on my way back to camp and then I throw it away. Um, don't bury these. As I was leaving, I realized I should probably do one more little portion of this video. This is a hole we previously used. I've made sure it's all the soil's covering it back up. Then I even went to the extent to kind of scatter some leaves around a little bit. Kind of camouflage it. The less you can make it look like this area is disturbed, the nicer it is. You go through digging these little uh, mole holes everywhere. They stand out, they don't look so good. But this, I mean, sure, you can see that, but you won't see it from way over there. So consider the next person, whatever you do in the woods, consider the next guy or gal or whatever. If you found any of this informative or useful, please, a thumbs up is very handy. Even a comment as simple as a thank you for making this or even, even more with a question, those bring up my search standings. I don't get paid for any of this. This is all on my own time, all on my own dime, the cameras, the, the fuel to get up here. Please consider subscribing. Now that I've been staring into the sun for quite a while, I'm gonna call this video good and thanks for watching. Go oh, on. I was just listening to the no ah. Here's the way. As it falls over on me.